I picked up this guitar, which, I, which was a gift from Phil Everly and, uh, and Terry Slater, my manager, in 87, I believe, and, and uh, I was just lying there, and I, I, I was knew there was something special about this guitar, certainly to me. And I finally picked it up about a year and a half ago and started to write. And in the past, I've, all I've been writing has been autographs, really, for the past 10 years. And uh, I finally started to to write songs, which which is by far the best part of this this whole thing of, of being, I suppose, an artist, entertainer, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that and playing live, but it, it all becomes a, a total process now that, that uh, starts with just just me and the guitar, and possibly a new set of lyrics from from Horvat. Uh, and uh, I, I have to say that that is probably my favorite, favorite part still. Uh, right now, the only thing I, I haven't done since I've been spending the last, or the past year in recording, is to go out on the road. And I'm, I'm dying to do that. <laughs> But first things first, we, we, we've cut it now, we've delivered the album, so we're going to wait and see how this whole thing performs, which is exciting as well. Who is Horvath? I don't think you know he's, well, he's trying to figure out himself, aren't you, Horvath? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, the way I see him, he, he, he certainly, he, he's a poet in the old meaning of the word and uh, and he's certainly to me i mean his his lyrics his his poetry basically really turns me on and makes me want to write the music that i'm that i'm writing it kind of goes by itself it just happens uh, i i uh, it, it charges me it's very simple or simplistic in its way, but, uh, almost kind of primal in a way, um, which I respond to. And uh, funny, well, uh, we've never met until a couple of years ago, although our, we have a lot of the same, we share a lot of the same background, and we, we could have been childhood friends, we just never met, we, we kind of should have met a long time ago, it just never happened until, like I said, a couple of years ago. And, uh, and I just had a good feeling about that, and I, I, I uh, invited him in to, to on this project, uh, which also I had no idea what was going to be. Uh, and I wasn't wrong. I mean, I, I've had a great time, and I'm, I'm really. We're in the middle of, we're we'll like halfway through the next album already with with the new songs. To me, probably is. Much more than just uh, poetry books. Poetry is singing. Poetry is records. Poetry is concerts. So you know to uh, to work together with a with a singer just natural. I, I had no idea where I was, where I wanted to go really when I, when I started this. I just knew that I, it was time for me to, to get out and do an album on my own, be responsible on my own. It was, something was waiting for me and, uh, and uh, that was a pretty strong feeling really. I didn't know what it would be, and initially I thought that I would go out and, and look for good material. 
which I indeed ended up doing, but I, I was looking for it uh, in my own guitar, as opposed to finding it somewhere else. Um, uh, and that pleases me, because it, it, I, uh, in a way, I didn't expect that to happen. But it, it's happened like that in the in a, in a most natural way, and. Uh, and this is a whole process of this album and, and the writing between Horvath and myself and also some of the other contributors to this album. And it's all happened very naturally and, uh, and I, I need that. Otherwise, I, I mean, I've been, you know, after all, I've been doing this for, for quite some time and I, I, know, I know what's in it, in a way, and I know what I want out of it, what I need to have in order to be doing this, to keep doing it. And I found that there's no, for me, there is no. I, I'm not interested in just filling another record sleeve uh, at all. There are so many artists coming out every year, hundreds and hundreds, and and why should I just clog the airways with even more? Unless I had to do it in in, in a way, and and I had to I had to get there or or give it a miss really, and I. But that is what I found, and I. Now, all I really need at the, at the end of the day is, is this guitar and good lyrics to work with. And I find that in, in, in my, uh, you know, in my working relationship with Horvath and, uh, and to some extent his circle of friends as well. Someone told me it is late, late on earth, he said maybe, late in you, late in me. Darker than it has to be. Tell me just another lie. Now we're woven and the eyes tell me that there is no other. I am a child and be my mother. If you lie, babe, if you bother. Ah. Since you raised that wall around you, since I lost you, I have found you strange. And I can swear for sure, haven't seen that girl before, half in love and half I won't. I don't sit down with a guitar and kind of sweat a, a new song out of it, in a sense. I, I don't. I, I sense that there's a song about to happen somehow, and, and I don't even pick the guitar up. I let it, I, I, I leave it be and wait till I feel, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a big deal in a way, it's, it's kind of a, just a little, little feeling that I have, and I know when, when to sit down and pick it up. That is very often how it, it happens. I mean, I talk like I've been doing this for a long time, I haven't, but I've been doing it intensively for, uh, for nearly two years now, and, and that is, there is, there is a pattern. Uh, Horvath and I went to Los Angeles after we kind of finished writing for the album. We thought we had the album, but at the same time we, we, we sensed that, although we had enough songs, we sensed that there were two more songs to be written. We got on the plane and went to Los Angeles, and, uh, because Horvath hadn't been to LA before, and I'd not been there a lot myself, I'd only been, sort of been in and out, and I, that had all, always been for work, a different kind of work, doing videos or meeting with the record company, uh, things that, that certainly are different than going there with a the guitar, just to sit, sit on, on the street restaurants and, and cafes and, uh, and write. So, so we went and we wrote two songs, and one is a kind of Christmas card, and the other one's called Tell Me What You See, which is, which is also likely to be a single of this album. And I, I felt both these songs were about to happen. I, don't, I never know what it is. Just, I don't know. When they come, they... 
they, uh, <laughs> they don't take long to, to emerge. Brodsky tune is, well, the Brodsky piece is, is a song, is the first song that I wrote for the album when I started out. Uh, and I wrote, I, there I wrote the music first. And I didn't really have any, any lyrics. I hadn't met with Horvath yet. And, uh, and my brother sent me a set of lyrics from, from a, a Russian poet called Joseph Brodsky, who, uh, who, ha who is a Nobel laureate literature from, I think, 87. And uh, he has this piece called Bosnia Tune. He's a very uh, grim, very powerful uh, kind of judgment on, on the West. And, uh, and I just sang it to this piece and, and just put it in there, basically. And it, uh, it kind of closed the chapter of that piece musically as well. I just recorded that. That was the, the initial, that was the start, really. Later on, however, when I met Horvath, I, I remembered a, a song that I wrote 10 years ago in 83, in the early days of a half, like 12 years ago now. Which is really the first song that I actually wrote, uh, uh, but never really did any anything with. And the funny thing is, is that one of my favourite Norwegian poems of Horvath is called in in English "Lay Me Down Tonight," which we then rewrote into English. And that was written at the same time, roughly 12 years ago, in, in '83, autumn '83. And we put the two together and. and and we have Lay Me Down Tonight, which is one of the tracks from the album now. And essentially, really, is the first song written. Although we didn't know no. at that point. <laughs> the easiest ones have been where that has not been the case, where the song or the, or the, or the, the, the writing has been free. Either the, it starts with a set of lyrics from Horvath, like, uh, like for instance, um, Los Angeles. You waited for me when I was strong. You never called. You waited long. Now I come back to sleep with you. You love me still. I love you too. He just wrote that on a plane. He gave, and gave them to me. It's a plain like, song. <laughs> and it's a very plain song, yeah. <laughs> Damn right. And he presented it to me like in you know 15 minutes. He just handed me the paper. Five minutes. Like, oh, five minutes. <laughs> so a third less. No, I mean, I remember that, that that was the very first uh, poem I wrote mm. in English mm. uh, on a flight between uh, Sri Lanka and uh, London. Uh, I hadn't slept for three days, and uh, I was going back to my girlfriend in Norway, and uh, it's a strange feeling. Uh, I realized that for the rest of my life. I would, from time to time, leave her for one reason or another, and then going back to her. And um, this was a strong feeling. And uh, in, in just five minutes, I wrote it. I wrote it down. I actually wrote that. Uh at, at the night of the opening of the Winter Olympics in Norway. I was staying at a hotel there and uh, it was about three o'clock in the morning and I couldn't sleep. I felt, I felt bad, I felt, I felt down, I was kind of depressed, which, which is not normal for me to be. I mean, uh, uh, and I got, got up, like, kind of in a, not in a, well, kind of in an angry way and I just grabbed Horvath's lyrics. This set of lyrics, because I knew a song was about to would need to happen there, and, and, and that would come out somehow. I sensed that, and uh, and, and uh, bear in mind, this was at the early stage. I hadn't really started to write at that point. I grabbed the sheet and said, "All, all right, you little thing, you know, <laughs> come here." And I grabbed the guitar and and, it, and just just played it. Kind of it happened very in, in, again in in, in two minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Less than it, <laughs> no, because that's that's the time it takes to, to sing through those uh, those lyrics. And then it was recorded. And then I uh, called Horvath to see if he was in, 
he didn't pick up the phone, his answering machine was on, so I just recorded it on his answering machine. And that's how, uh, that really signaled the start. It really signaled the start of, of our uh, working relationship. The main bulk of, of the band that I've been using is, uh, is basically four other guys, and, and uh, they are brilliant, and I, I'm dying to go out on the road with them. I, and the, you know, the great thing for me as well is that the, I mean, these guys are, are the very best. They more or less play with whoever they want, and and uh, and they they got a kick out of doing these these songs and this album, and uh, and they've uh, all said that they would like to go out on the road if when we do that, and I I would love to for that to happen, but I I have to wait, of course, for, for you know first things first, but as soon as that's possible for you know to to set up, I I'm dying to go out on the road. Did I need to break free? I, I, we all we all had a strong urge to, to, to break free. I mean, all three of us in, 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 in the group with a heart. We we uh, but we've always felt like that anyway. Our hearts always had a strong urge to break free. Uh, in a sense, both from each other, but 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 in general as a group. It's been part of the, uh, I think, of the driving force, and, and that, that burning sensation is, is there. And, and certainly, that became stronger with, with me towards, like, a couple, like, three years ago or so. And we've all sensed that, and it was completely natural for all of us to, to go out and, and do other things uh, on our own, which we're all doing now, at the moment. For now, and you know, in, in the future, you, no one knows. We've never known that. Ah, we've never known whether there'll be another album, and we, we don't know that now. I say there will be. You know, and I, that is from what I understand. Having not seen the guys for quite a long time, because I've been completely immersed in in doing this, uh, none of us are thinking that we're not going to do that anymore. We've never, we don't think like that when we get together. And we get, if we get excited about doing something together, we'll do it. I just love the, the to either get on my bike or, or, or to just get on the plane or in the car, just throw the guitar in and, and set off. And Horvath will bring his, his laptop and his uh, little notebook and, and, uh, and we go anywhere. It's just the greatest adventure. All you folks back home, I never tell you this. You're not supposed to know where your daughter is. There are ways of life you never understood. All you folks back home, I'll never tell you this. 